Good morning everybody, how are we? It is Friday the 2nd of March. Welcome to another video. Benvenuti a tutti. And that's a vlog. Vlog. Down the wrong. Vlog. Benvenuti a natural vlog. Or video. Vlog or video. Basically I was getting confused in two languages. Just now guys. But yeah, we're here. We are here. It's Friday. Still got snow. It's gonna get really cold today, apparently, like minus six. I don't know, but anyway, I just watched Casey Neistat's latest video, or well, last night I did anyway, and um, it resonated with me a bit. And I want to show you guys that. And as you can see from the title, um, it it's about YouTube, and I'll reveal more shortly. Well, right away, actually, right now. So. Let me watch this video with you guys, and I'll run you through it a bit, give you a bit of context, a bit of reaction at the same time, and explain why it, what it means to me, really. Um, I've been a big fan of Casey Neistat for a while. Obviously, talented filmmaker, vlog expert, you know. So, when he says something like this, it's quite, you've got, got to take it as, like, not fact, but, like, pretty, pretty realistic thing. Or the truth, let's just say that. Um, so yeah, let's watch this vlog, and then I'll I'll explain it as we go. Let's get it. Success on YouTube still means a life of poverty. I'm reading to you from from Bloomberg. This is the lead of the article. This is the first sentence in the article. Do your children dream of YouTube stardom? Do them a favor. Crush that ambition now. <laughs> this is an article. It's actually already um, this video. Like, I'm watching it. And I'm thinking, are you seriously going that way? You of all people. Uh, but we know he's a good advocate for the creator on YouTube. The small creator. And towards the end of this video. Um, yeah, it starts to end on a positive note, let's just say that. I mean, the title, Success on YouTube, still means a life of poverty. That kind of explains a bit of it, but that's that's not what the video is about. It's very much saying the opposite, but that's a clickbait title. But who doesn't? You know, who doesn't make a clickbait title? Alright, let's get on with this. Actually not a bad article in... Chris Stokel Walker. I don't actually mean it's about new research out of Germany. Build as among the first to review. <laughs> uh, he's good at beeping out swearing. I'm not, am I? Um, but no, he's got a point. He, he's saying like, what the hell would you write an article like this? But he's being fair. That's one thing you got to be is fair when it comes to talking about someone else's work. The chances of making it in the new Hollywood, i.e. making it on YouTube. It presents all kinds of objective data like 96.5% of all of those trying to become YouTubers won't make enough money off of advertising to crack the U.S. poverty line. Hmm. Most of the story is uh, about objective data that quantifies just how challenging it is to succeed on this platform. This whole article starts hmm. from the premise that the only reason why you'd want to be on YouTube, the only reason why you'd want to be a YouTuber it's not all about money, guys. Because I ain't making any yet. Is because of the financial upside, and I think that's absolutely mm. ridiculous. I think to make a statement like that, let alone write an article like this, with that being your foundation, is insulting to this entire platform. I'm not naive to the fact that a lot of people see YouTube as a cash register. I also know that there are a lot of creators, I think the majority of the creators that I've come in contact with, who are first motivated by their own desire to make things and, and to share their own ideas. And, and I do, I think it is that fact that motivates a lot of new creators to come to this platform and people who... Well, he's part of the reason I am YouTube um, committed, let's just say that. And I believe in it, and I think you guys do too. Otherwise, you wouldn't subscribe, would you? So let's keep doing that. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the rest of this video. Otherwise, wouldn't be filmmakers or content creators or, or video or TV people. Mm. They're encouraged by what they see here on YouTube 
to create. It is a proving They're grounds. not just motivated by, uh, by a check, which is what this article kind of insinuates. That's my beef with the article. Uh, I will link this article below. There's a lot of interesting stuff in there. I really recommend you check it out. Please do not send the author of this article uh, any negativity. Uh, I disagree with his premise, but I, I, I do appreciate the article. While well, I've got you here, while I'm doing a little talking ahead video, uh, I thought I would address the new uh, the new YouTube partner and monetization thing where you have to have a uh, thousand subscribers or four thousand hours of watch time. Yeah, a thousand subscribers or four thousand hours of watch time. With the watch time, I'm getting closer, definitely. But I remember when I mentioned this in an earlier vlog, I, I said you needed both, but it's, I think it's one or the other. So when it comes to hours of view time, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. 1,000 subscribers is a long way off, um, but a man can dream, Connie. In the past year to monetize your channel, I've seen, especially since the Robert Kinsel interview, so many mm. people have uh, approached me about what are my... Yeah, he mentions Robert Kinsel, that's um, the CBO of YouTube, so you should go back and watch that video on his channel, on Casey's channel. That is, um, I might link that or something, or show a snippet of it here, but otherwise just Look for it on his channel, it's one of his more recent videos where he interviews a guy. Yeah. So, uh, Casey's got Paul on YouTube. Let's just say that. Thoughts on this. Um, and then I follow Social Blade on Twitter, and they've just been tearing YouTube to pieces about this. Ready? This says uh, Today's the day YouTube is, as we tweet, removing everyone from networks and removing monetization options if you fall below the 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 365 days. If you survive today, congratulations. You. Hashtag YouTube partner culling. Ouch. Ouch. First of all, I hate, I hate what this says to small creators. Mm. I hate this idea that it says to you if you have a, a small channel, a tiny channel, that your content... This bit relates to me. It doesn't have value. And while it, it sucks and it may be challenging for you, it doesn't mean your work isn't Thank of you. value. And I, I know, and I, I like to think that YouTube knows, that the next big generation of creators on this platform this are good. people who right now have less than a yeah. thousand subs. Um, that's where it starts. Anything that you really want in life is always really f***ing hard to get, and, and YouTube is mm. no different. So the hurdle's mm. a little bit higher now, but the opportunity is still there. And I end this by, by bringing up my friend Peter McKinnon. Peter's a huge YouTuber now. He has a million seven subscribers. His content's fantastic. He is a good Peter's YouTuber. Channel's well. like Are you hearing that? A year ago, this guy who's really successful, a friend of Casey's, had zero subscribers, and now he's up there. So you just got to keep going. Keep keep that grind, that everyday grind. Keep being a G or whatever you're doing. So whether you're a YouTuber or not. Or whatever you do, whatever you're committed to in your life, this is telling you to, to do it. To not be dissuaded. Is that a word? I don't know. To be the opposite of persuaded, basically. Out of doing what you love. You know, do what you love. And if you focus on that, I guess that's the best way to get there. If you've got four different plans on what you want to do with your life and what you actually like doing, four different ideas, you know, you've got to decide on one. 13 or 14 months old. Uh, a, a year ago, I didn't know him, a year ago he okay. had, a little over a year ago, he had zero subscribers. He earned zero AdSense. Um, he had zero brand deals. He had no channel at all. But he started it, he brought something new to the channel, he worked really hard, he did some interesting things to bring press and attention to what he was doing on the platform, and now he is, by all definitions, a successful YouTuber. So, yes, it's harder, and it's only gonna get harder. The opportunity is still that there. It's definitely harder to succeed on YouTube today than, than it was yesterday. It was harder yesterday than it was 12 days ago or nine days ago before they started this new policy. Um, but it's Thank easier you, today than it will be tomorrow. And it's definitely easier today in 2018 than it will be next year in 2019 and so uh, on and so, and so on and so on. So if your dream, um, let me rewrite this article for, for this guy. If your children dream of YouTube stardom, do them a favor, support that ambition now. If your it dream is, is to be a YouTuber, do it. Do not let not. this shit discourage you. Charge ahead because the world of creativity needs you. I like the way he ends this. A few quotes. 
winners never quit and quitters never win. It's true. Nelson Mandela, it's always seems impossible until it's done. Never give up on something you can't go a day without thinking. What? Never give up on something that you can't go a day without thinking about. That's true. I'm thinking about YouTube every day. <laughs> Champions keep playing until they get it right. I don't know who Billy, Billy Jean King. I should know who they are, really. Napoleon Hill. Victory is always possible for the person who refuses to stop fighting. It's some serious motivational shit. Whatever you do, do ah, that's a good one. Or do not. <laughs> yes. Yes, Casey. You have proved the doubt was wrong. Well, no. That, that was just me talking about me. It's all about, well, you have to prove to yourself more than anyone. And once you do that, you're fine. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to end this vlog here. And I want you to keep what Casey said in mind. And remember that you can do it. And a few of those quotes, a lot of all of those quotes, say that. And it is... It, it's good to know that Casey believes that small creators like me can do it. And if he believes it, and I believe it, then subscribe now and be part of the movement, guys. Because we make movies every day, and I'm going to leave you with the highlights of yesterday. The snow versus my chair vlog. And I hope you liked the thumbnail, which had nothing to do with me, but it was a wheelchair with tank tracks which is really cool that was just to get you to watch the video but I hope you enjoy the rest of your day I will see you soon have a good weekend wrap up warm stay safe guys keep it real as always be yourselves and do what you love and don't let anyone stop you from that enough said enough said I am out of here. Ciao ragazzi. Alla prossima vlog. Ciao a tutti. Yeah, whoa. Whoa. Raw. That's nice. I'm gonna ruin it now, guys. It's a snow day, guys. I'm gonna get stuck in the snow in my own garden. Wow. Could be worse, couldn't it? Could be raining. Let's get it.